Hi, this is T. Payton, and Final Cut Pro X or 10 came out this week. And while this is obviously not ready for uh, prime time and the features are not quite there, um, every time I use this, I continue to find um, other things that are missing. For example, I was just uh, I just went here with a razor blade and cut something, and I thought, okay, I want to heal that. Uh, how do you heal that? You you don't, so uh, you hopefully you can undo. But anyway, there's a myriad of things missing. However, one of the really cool things about the organization of Final Cut 10 is, uh, boy, and, and I was so excited when I first saw this uh, at NAB, is this idea of these compound clips, and it's really kind of like grouping things. But um, check this out. So here here is a um, sequence that is, let me get rid of some extra stuff over here. So let's say this sequence is something that I am ready to go with. And I've got some interviews right here with some audio. You can see I've pulled out the audio and done some L cuts here. So here I've got this uh, jacaranda here um, for my music bed. And then I've got some sound effects in here. And normally I'd never put sound effects in this kind of corporate video, but uh, it's just for illustration purposes. So I'm ready to go with this. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to group these together so I can mix them like I'd normally mix in an um, audio suite, like either Pro Tools or Soundtrack Pro. But you can kind of fake it um, inside here Final Cut 10, which is kind of neat. Um, of course, it doesn't diminish the fact that there should be real um, tracks or channels, rather, for um, you to assign audio to so you can edit this and buses and actual faders. But for now, this this might uh, help someone who's hurting or uh, maybe they can expand upon this. So anyway, I'm just going to select a couple of clips here. So this is my music bed. And then I, I, you can either right click, new compound click, or hit option G. So now look at this. And it's just called compound clip. But let's go over here to info and change it to music. There's my mix. And let's do the same thing with these sound effects. Oops. And let's use our key command. Oh, what was the key command? Option G. There we go. Okay. So now I've got sound effects right here. And then this guy, let's select this whole big mama and option G. So now I'm just going to call this VO. Or not VO, but this is really, well, whatever. VO is fine for now. It's not really VO. So now I've got three groups of clips or channels rather that I can assign a mix to. So if you listen to this. That is actually factual. This if is we, raw stuff. We've so. decided Sorry. we're going to cut back on the incentives, then what's going to end up happening, other states will pick up those incentives because they need those good paying jobs. Okay, so my audio is kind of too loud. And uh, fortunately here. we have a team that's so let's just pull it down using the old key commands of command or control minus okay and look uh, i've moved everything now always says what they do and do what they say and uh, so now i can go here and say hey you know what i want to add a limiter uh dude where's my limiter here we go i'm gonna add my limiter to this and it's adding it to the entire clip now Go to audio, open up my limiter interface, and um, the Titan has built. This is something Final Cut has needed, I don't know, for 10 years. But with their key uh, subcontractors. Let's pull that up a little this bit. Project, it was Chaparral Electric. And let's go down. And Kevin, you're out at your out mechanical. Negative two, maybe. Just to compress that a little bit. The uh, world's foremost high tech companies. Uh, so now what's kind of cool about this. As long as the picture is locked, um, you can go in and say, you know what, look at this. Um, I missed an audio fade on that. So just double click on this guy and then add your fade. So head back and now you've got your little fade in there. Nice. 
and you've got uh, your effect on it. Foremost high tech company. And we've done a little bit of oh, mixing here. Yeah. We can look at that sound effect. Oh, that's out of control. And this extent. So we have, in essence, some kind of pseudo tracks or channels that we've created in Final Cut that we can do some stuff with. That's pretty cool. And if Final Cut 10 wouldn't crash every other moment um, and had, I don't know, some other stuff that would actually be uh, professional, um, this could be pretty cool. So that's it. Thanks. Bye.